Hey everybody, welcome back to the Where to Start reading series. Today we'll be covering The Winter Soldier, also known as Bucky Barnes. Are you like me? Are you anxiously awaiting the arrival of Falcon and the Winter Soldier to Disney Plus? Well, COVID has delayed it, but if you want to get caught up on the Winter Soldier, there's no better place to start than his comic books. I'm going to walk you through his origin story and every story where he appears, or at least the most important ones. Bucky was born James Buchanan Barnes, but would go by the name Bucky. His mother died at an early age, and his dad did his best to be in the military and raise a son and daughter. However, one day when Bucky went to answer the door, he met a priest and some military men who had informed him that his father had died. After the death of their father, they really had no relatives left, and the people in charge of him ended up sending his sister off to boarding school, and Bucky was to go to Camp Lehigh to be trained. Bucky would train long and hard and genuinely enjoyed himself. But one thing changed in him when he saw a newsreel of Captain America, and suddenly he was now inspired to train harder than ever. Through Bucky's determination and willpower, he trained and rise to be one of the best fighters in the army. While training at Camp Lehigh, Bucky would come to meet Steve Rogers and soon discover that he was Captain America. Steve asked Bucky if he would like to become his partner and it was that day that Captain America and his sidekick Bucky were born. A strong bond developed between Steve and Bucky while fighting in World War II, and both men became part of the invaders. Throughout World War II, Bucky would receive letters from his sister who was doing well in school. Bucky and Steve soon became American icons and would take on missions together. Bucky would train harder over the years and be trained into an assassin. Someone who could go behind enemy lines and do what Captain America could not do. On their final mission, Steve and Bucky would go after the villain Zemo and track down a drone plane with a bomb on it. The two men would jump onto the bomb and try to disarm it. Captain America got thrown from the drone and fell into the icy waters below, but Bucky had gotten stuck on the plane, and when the bomb exploded, it took his arm with him. Bucky, too, fell into the icy waters below. But Bucky was found by a Soviet spy submarine. The water had stopped the blood loss from his lost arm, and somehow Bucky was alive. They soon decided they could use Bucky in their plans. They started brainwashing him and made him a metal arm. With Bucky's new arm and his brainwashing, he believed himself to be a soldier called the Winter Soldier. All of his memory reflexes were still there, but his memories were all fake. After long periods, Bucky's memories would soon start coming back to him, and he would rebel against the Soviets. They decided to put him on ice and only wake him up for missions. Over the years, the Winter Soldier would be woken up, sometimes for missions, sometimes for training. While helping train, Bucky found himself in the Red Room, where he met Natasha Romanoff, and a romance soon blossomed. But everything changed when the Winter Soldier got a job to take out Captain America. Captain America recognized his old friend, but didn't know how Bucky had survived. A fight broke out, but when Captain America got the Tesseract, he brought Bucky's memories back to him, and Bucky was haunted by the things he had done as his years as the Winter Soldier. Bucky would try his best over the years to make up for his crimes as the Winter Soldier, but occasionally he would snap back into the Winter Soldier ways. Sometimes brainwashing or things as simple as code words would make him snap back into the mentality of the Winter Soldier. The first place you should start reading is Captain America Volume 1, The Winter Soldier, and then Captain America Volume 2, The Winter Soldier. However, both volumes are collected in the Captain America Marvel Select book. Now these two volumes, or this one book, tell the epic story about how Bucky comes back and becomes the Winter Soldier, and then gets his memories back. After that, you want to pick up Captain America The Red Menace, which sees Bucky dealing with some of the aftermath of getting his memories back. After that comes the epic Marvel event, Civil War, where superheroes are taking sides over the Superhero Registration Act, one side led by Captain America, one side led by Iron Man. And somewhere in the middle there is the Winter Soldier. The Civil War comes to an end when Captain America surrenders and allows himself to be arrested. The next book to read after that is The Death of Captain America, Volume 1, which pretty much speaks for itself. Captain America is assassinated on his way to trial. Tony Stark feels guilty about it. Winter Soldier and Falcon set out to find the killer. 
Bucky finds out that the Red Skull had something to do with Captain America's death and goes after him. And the book ends on a cliffhanger with Tony receiving a letter from Steve Rogers, Captain America, who's now dead. The next book to check out is The Death of Captain America, Volume 2, The Burden of Dreams. Bucky is captured by S.H.I.E.L.D. and a fight breaks out with Iron Man. Even though the Winter Soldier's tough, it doesn't take long before Iron Man gains the upper hand. Iron Man tells him he only brought him in to honor Steve Rogers' final wish. Bucky sits down in Tony Stark's office and reads the letter from Steve Rogers. His final letter is asking Bucky if he will become the new Captain America in his absence. And Bucky reluctantly agrees, but under two conditions. They wipe his mind of all the Hydra and Russian training, and he gets to redesign the suit. And just like that, Bucky sets out with Natasha as the new Captain America. And he sets out to bring Captain America's killers to justice. And with Natasha, the Black Widow's help, he sets out to find Crossbones and the Red Skull's daughter, Sin. And he takes them out. After the fight doesn't go too well, Bucky learns that in order to properly replace Steve Rogers, he has a lot of learning to do. Next, check out The Death of Captain America, Volume 3. Bucky Barnes is still training hard to replace Steve Rogers as the new Captain America. Bucky and the Falcon set out to find Sharon Carter, Steve Rogers' girlfriend. But it doesn't go as planned, and they don't find Sharon. Looks like they're back to the drawing board now. But before they can do that, an imposter Captain America shows up, claiming to be the real Steve Rogers. But Bucky takes him down pretty easily. Him and Sam then go back to looking for Sharon. And with the help of the Black Widow, they end up finding her. And the country finally embraces Bucky as the new Captain America. Next book to pick up is Captain America, The Man With No Face. Bucky still feels guilty about all the crimes he committed as the Winter Soldier and feels that as Captain America, he can now in some way make up for those. But then a villain from the past shows up, the man with no face. After that comes Captain America Road to Reborn, and right after that comes Captain America Reborn. This is a story that sees Steve Rogers come back and Bucky have to deal with his new friend back from the dead. After that, check out Captain America, Two Americas. Now that Steve Rogers is back, who's going to be Captain America? Then check out Captain America, No Escape. One of Steve Rogers and Bucky Barnes' greatest enemies, Baron Zemo, returns and wants to spill the beans on the Winter Soldier's past and who the new Captain America really is. Next, check out Captain America, The Trial of Captain America. Now that the truth is out about Bucky Barnes being the new Captain America, all of his crimes as the Winter Soldier come to light, and he has to face trial. After that, check out Captain America and Bucky, the life story of Bucky Barnes that retells his origin. And now comes what happens after the trial. Bucky goes back to being the Winter Soldier, and Steve Rogers takes over as Captain America again. And Winter Soldier gets his own book series by Ed Brubaker. Now this collection I'm showing you here collects volumes 1 through 3, but there's also a fourth one. After that comes Winter Soldier, The Bitter March, which gets to see Bucky back in the 1960s as the Winter Soldier. After that comes Bucky Barnes, The Winter Soldier, Volume 1, The Man on the Wall. But I urge you, do not pick this up. It is not good. For some reason, the Winter Soldier goes to space to fight aliens, and it makes no sense. Why would a World War II veteran, who is now a guy with a cybernetic arm, go into space to fight aliens? The next book you want to pick up is Tales of Suspense, Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier, which gets to see Hawkeye team up with the Winter Soldier. Overall, it's a pretty good book and a good buddy cop movie rolled into a comic book. You then want to pick up Winter Soldier Second Chances, which sees Bucky trying to make up for the crimes of his past and also help a young man. The final book you want to check out is Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which as of November 2020 is not out yet, but is available for pre-order. Are you a fan of the Winter Soldier? Do you prefer him in comic books? or the movies? Let me know in the comments below. And do you think Bucky Barnes makes a better Captain America than Steve Rogers? I for one think he's more compelling. 
Be sure to check out Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney Plus coming soon. This video was made for the Priestly Forsyth Memorial Library. My name is Brendan Strevig. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out the other Where to Start Reading videos and our Superhero Talk videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Stay safe and have a good one.